Stepping into the open construction pit for Metro's regional connector project is like stepping into the hold of a ship. Look up and you'll see workers lowering the enormous concrete ring segments that will line the interior of the tunnel. At first in Alameda Streets in Little Tokyo, you're 45 feet below street level. Wooden shoring and metal struts hold back the earth and stair towers, electrical pipes and water pipes, and a conveyor belt for the muck they're removing from the tunnel all compete for space. Here, workers load segments onto railroad cars that will carry them into the tunnel. The Regional Connector Project will cost $1.75 billion. It is the missing link in Metro's subway system and will allow transit passengers to ride without changing trains from Long Beach to Pasadena and from Santa Monica to East LA. The miners call it the Loki, short for locomotive, and it is their supply line to the tunnel. The Loki can run at about 15 miles per hour, although it seldom hits that speed. It hauls not only the concrete segments, but the utility lines, railroad ties and rails, barrel grease, even igloo water coolers. The regional connector project follows an S-shaped route out of Little Tokyo to Bunker Hill and then to the metro station at 7th and Flower Streets. It runs mostly under 2nd Street and Flower Street. The route passes under just two buildings, the Japanese Village Plaza and the Broad Museum. The workers who are building the tunnel are trained as miners. That's a special job category that takes into account the training they've received for working underground. They work two shifts with just about 20 miners per shift. So I am firing up the systems on the machine and getting ready to take off. The operator's cab is the center of operations for the tunnel boring machine, or as it's known, the TBM. The operator of the TBM is more like a computer technician than a miner. His day is spent perched over a control panel with dozens of switches, buttons, and dials that control the rate of the digging, the direction of the digging, the amount of dirt being removed, and the composition of that dirt. Once they are delivered inside the TBM, they are prepared for their installation. Dust is blasted off, large plastic set pins are hammered into place, and a special sealing tape is wrapped around the perimeter corner of each segment. The high-pitched whirring sound in the background is the cutting head, which is about 70 feet away. The low-pitched drone is the conveyor belts and screw auger, removing the excavated muck. The air horn of the Loki signals that it's ready to head out for another load. Jesus Ruiz is the lead on the ring building crew. This is him wearing around his neck the remote control for the segment director. Working up to 25 switches and two toggles, he uses the remote to direct a special crane that picks up the segment pieces with a vacuum lift. It's awesome work and hazardous too. Remember, each segment, with the exception of the keystone, weighs about 8,000 pounds. And Jesus and his crew work with an athlete's grace and confidence to maneuver these enormous concrete slabs into place. The front end of the TBM is a maze of ladders, catwalks, engines, and hoses of all diameters, coiled, looped, and snaking in and around the ring-building apparatus. The special crane rotates like the hands of a clock, positioning the six segments around the circumference of the tunnel. Once one segment is positioned, hydraulic jacks hold it in place as the crew positions the next segment. Eventually, each piece is held together by their weight and by a series of large lag bolts. One of the miners on Jesus's ring building crew operates the impact gun that drives a lag bolt into place that will help connect the ring segments. Along with the two tunnels for inbound and outbound trains, Metro is building three stations. One will be located in Little Tokyo, 
One will be up on Bunker Hill, and this one is between the two, located across from the Los Angeles Times building at 2nd Street and Broadway. As workers excavate and shore up this station, the tunnel boring machine passes 30 feet below them. In the course of building the station, workers will eventually dig down to the tunnels, removing the ring segments and constructing the platforms for the transit passengers. The Bunker Hill Station will be located at 2nd and Hope Streets and will provide access for transit passengers to museums like MoCA and The Broad, as well as the Music Center and the Walt Disney Concert Hall. The station is the deepest in the metro system, 110 feet below street level, so deep that passengers will ride elevators, not escalators, to get to the trains. The TBM will then continue down Flower Street to 4th Street, where we'll meet the tunneling work of crews who are working from the 7th Street station. Because Flower Street is so congested with high-rises and their foundations, Metro decided not to run the TBM here, but instead is employing a technique known as cut and cover, in which the tunnels are excavated from the surface of the earth, built, and then covered with soil and asphalt. Metro hopes that the tunnel boring machine will punch through the walls of this station in May. Officials expect the regional connector project to be completed by 2021.